Several kids in the metro are waking up in new beds this morning. Last night, volunteers with Sleep and Heavenly Peace delivered 19 beds to eight different homes here in the metro. The organization is working to end child bedlessness by making sure no kid sleeps on the floor. Joining me this morning is co-president of the Des Moines chapter, Lynn Vandegaard. Thanks so much for being here with us. Pleasure to be here. And we are celebrating a big milestone. Can you talk to us about that? It is a huge milestone for us. We've been uh, operating in Des Moines almost six years now. Mm -hmm. And last night, among those deliveries, we delivered to child number 1900 that we've served. Wow, what's that feel like? Astounding. I think before I heard about Sleep in Heavenly Peace, as with most people, mm -hmm. It wasn't on my radar mm -hmm. that kids didn't have beds. It makes all the sense in the world, though, when a family's already struggling, that purchasing a bed is a really big ticket item. So, so many kids are sleeping on the floor, and that we've been able to get 1,900 of them into their own beds is, is a wonderful feeling. Absolutely, so sleep in heavenly peace. How does the process work for you to help that many children? It, we're an all-volunteer organization at the chapter level, and so we and we're a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. So we collect donations, and then we go and we buy lumber, and we get teams of volunteers together to come and build beds. And no one needs to have any woodworking experience at all. There's a job for everyone. They're very simple, straightforward jobs. My favorite volunteer quote is, if you can brush your teeth, you can run a sander. So come build beds <laughs> with us. That's awesome. So always in need of volunteers and donations to make this work. Absolutely, absolutely. We really rely on donations. So of course, monetary donations are important. That's what we use to go buy lumber and hardware and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, bedding donations usually come from bedding drives. So sometimes people post on social media, for my birthday, I'd like my friends to each donate a pillow or a sheet set. So every donation counts and helps us continue to provide more beds to more children. Wow, and these are twin sized? Exclusively twin sized, yes. Okay, talk to us about when people want to donate, what kind of materials you're looking for there? Um, new, okay. standard twin size, sheet sets, bed in a blanket sets, fabric, waterproof mattress pads, and regular bed pillows. So any kind of bedding that is appropriate for children, we serve children ages three to 17. So little kids bedding is always cute and kind of fun to buy, but we need bedding for teenagers as well. Sure, and you have a couple drives coming up. We do, we're so excited. The Ace O'Donnell Hardware locations in Des Moines, there are three locations in Des Moines, are all gonna host bedding drives. So there will be a bin at each of the stores where people can buy and, and drop off those new bedding things. Mm -hmm. And also Trixie Salon, there are two locations. Okay, so a lot of opportunity for people yes. to give. Talk about the need right now. It is impossible to really gauge the need because no place does a survey. Mm -hmm. Nobody really asks children where they sleep. Mm -hmm. Our waiting list right now is 100 children. Mm -hmm. So we, we build some beds and we get them out and more applications come in. We think though, in the, in the lack of any real research on it, that any given population, so if Des Moines roughly is 700,000, we think two to 3% of that population would represent the number of children without beds, which mm -hmm. for Des Moines would be 14 to 21,000 children that don't have beds of their own. Wow, that puts it into perspective. It really does. Okay, if people want to learn more, do you have a website they can go to? We do. Okay. It is shipbeds, so S H P B E D S dot org. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us this morning to talk about this. It's been a pleasure, thank you. And congratulations on the milestone. Thank you. <laughs> and still ways to help, as she said, you can go to their website, shpbeds.org, to learn more. And we'll be right back with a look at your forecast.